fest beer I have, uh, basically an Oktoberfest, I picked up Zeugelhaus, uh, Zeugelfest German style lager. There's what it looks like. Pretty basic really, not much to see there. 5.5 alcohol, 17 IBU, brewed and bottled by Zeugelhaus Brewing Company, Portland, Oregon. That's what I was reading on the side there. It's kind of blurry, but you get the idea. And then on the other side, the spirit of Zeugel. Uh, we like to celebrate German brewing traditions. This is deep orangey color, made from Munich malt, a little spiciness from German noble hops, and a clean drinkability from lager yeast. That's what I was reading right there, that quick story. I have to comment on this. So, okay, the, I don't know how old the brewery is. I went to their website and their About Us page. It says here the word Zoigl, Z-O-I-G-L, pronounced just like it looks. And it's fun to say. We dare you to say Zoigl five times without breaking to a grin. Besides being incredibly addictive to pronounce, there's something really cool behind it all. Okay, guys, that's stupid. That's really stupid. Zoigl's fun to say. No, it's not. It's a word. Our traditional fest beer pours and vine golden orange, brewed according to the German law of 1516 of these German malts, hops, and yeast. Vienna, Pilsner, and Munich are used along with Magnum and Hirschbrucker hops to have a hop, a crisp hop flavor and a subtle spicy aroma. Pilsner malt gives is the lightest color out there, pretty common in, in uh, many European beers. Uh, may give cracker, bread, grain flavors. Vienna is malty, but it's light on the light side, and Munich is a heavier malt. From that, I'm expecting to be on the malty side. Magnum hops should provide a clean, mild bitterness, and the Hirschbrucker known to be a little fruity and floral. I am expecting this to be a light to medium body, amber or copper color. This beer cost me, is it the two or three dollars? I can't remember which. Being an Oktoberfest, this is obviously seasonal. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up now. Oh, that should be sufficient. I don't need very much. It's a medium orange color, a quarter inch ahead. It's dying down a little bit. It's fine. Very cloudy. You can see me moving my finger. Still has a nice color to it. I like that. You know, the, the aroma is very faint of malt and sweetness. It's so faint that if I really wasn't drawing air in, I wouldn't even know. I'm just going to go ahead and try it now. It's a little malt forward. Not much. If I had to guess, I would have just said Vienna, not Munich. The malt character's light. I was anticipating a punch in the face because of the malts I used in there. Maybe a toasted in there. Teases of candy, sweet, and malty. Hits the top of my mouth, spreads a little bit, just a little bit on my tongue, and then just dissipates. There's pretty much nothing lingering. Just a tingle of hoppiness in there. Now they say fruity floral. I didn't get any floral out of the nose at all. I get just a tease of something uh, it could be fruity. All these flavors are just so light. It tastes probably medium body. No grain, bread, biscuit. The mouthfeel is not thin. There's no complexity of this at all. I'm gonna have it out of the uh, bottle now and see how that compares. Slight malt sweetness on the roof of my mouth again. It dissipates really fast. A little bit of hop tingling back there, but very little. I don't get any candy, bread, grain, nothing. I thought I might get a little bit. No real malty backbone to it. Being a lager, I was anticipating this being crisp, clean. It's not really crisp. It has a clean taste to it. I don't notice any off flavors. Chemical, you know, paint thinner, rubbing alcohol, acetone, no buttery uh, diacetyl, no DMS, rubber plastic, mouth puckering, skunky. Would I buy it again? No, I wouldn't. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I would. I'd say try one out, but don't set your expectations real high. Overall, uh, I am disappointed with this fest beer.
it's not what the name implies in my opinion. This is not a good example of an Oktoberfest. You know, Oktoberfests are generally known to be very, very malt forward sweet, and this one is, it's too subtle. Ziegelhaus Zoigelfest, Oktoberfest, German style longer. That is all I have for this review. I'm going to finish my beer, move on to something else. Cheers.